sing along. Girl. <laughs> I was planning to go through the whole speech with this song, so the song says liar liar. That's about the word. He's on fire or she's on fire. On fire. But liar liars are not on fire, guys. Okay? I want to ask you a simple question. Who has ever lied in their lives? Oh, come on. <laughs> Please. But I, mean, I don't mean this kind of lying when you're in your teenager years and your mom find, finds a toilet roll next to your bed and like, Perchin, what's a toilet roll next to your bed? Nothing, mom, I have the flu. <laughs> no, not like serious lies. I have. I have lied. Yeah. We all lie. Okay. Let's not fool each other. I have lied a lot. But I can take pride in this that I did not lie. To damage somebody. For example, I did not take 50 lira from my father's wallet and say, no, I didn't do it. I didn't lie in such ways. My lies were a bit more selfish because when I was a child, as all of us, I still do actually, but I lacked a lot of confidence in various things. And my lies were trying to make up for all these lacks of confidences. I will share some lies that I have done in my teenage years, which I'm not proud of. So this is very sensitive for me, guys. So first lie, is my elementary school life because I was living in a poor neighborhood in Fundiksade. I mean, not a rich neighborhood, place. but I was going to a private school which had like rich kids. So two lives were completely opposite. And okay, I wasn't the most popular child in my private school. But whenever I came from the school, I was lying to my friends, saying, "Yeah, today I dated with this girl. It was okay. These two girls were checking me out. They were okay, but then I didn't really want it because I like her more. But these were all lies." <laughs> but they believed me. <laughs> like when I entered the street, they were like, what is it, your story today? <laughs> I was trying to compensate for my lack of popularity or whatever in the school. And I wasn't even creative because I was actually copying something a guy, a popular boy in the school said. For example, Emre, a popular guy was saying, yeah, today I'm going to buy perfume for my girlfriend, Melis. She was 15 years old. I was like, then I was going back to my town, and I was thinking, yeah, I bought, I bought a perfume for my girlfriend. <laughs> so I wasn't even being creative there. <laughs> and then this lie blew up when one of my friends said, ah, today I'm on all day, let's go to your school together. <laughs> and I was saying, I took him around, and nobody said hello to me, of course. And I said, um, my friends are not here today, they're sick. <laughs> and once we went to Akmarkes with my friends, and there was this guy, Furkan, very mean boy, and my, with my friends from the street, we were walking, and I said, Hey, Fulkan, what's up? And his reply was like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was my first lie, and now it blew up. <laughs> my second lie <laughs> was my football lie, because I'm a very lousy football play player for American soccer. But I had some friends who were older than me, like they treated me like a little brother. And I don't know why, but I, at some point I told them that I played football really good professionally <laughs> in Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce <laughs> Youth Club. <laughs> that was my second life. And then I was also telling them my stories from the match. I was being creative. Well, I wasn't because I was playing FIFA, the computer game. And whatever happened there, <laughs> I was telling them to them like it was my football experience. <laughs> I took the ball, then I dribbled, then I shot. There was a goal, there was a last minute goal. Yeah, I'm so good. That didn't really blow up in my face because, I mean, they never called me for a match, but this lie disappeared over time. But then I confronted my like friends saying, yeah, I lied about that, sorry. My third lie was the most complicated because in 2000, I was in the US for 15 days with my mom because my uncle lives there. And we came back, fantastic, I really had fun. And we just moved into a new compound, Adekyo actually, where currently Andreas lives. And a guy who is my best friend right now, we just met. So at some point he thought that I was an American citizen for some reason. And he asked me like, were you born in the US? I was like, yeah. <laughs> because I thought like the life would disappear in a few days. But then we were in a French group and Ali Jan said, you know what, she was born in the USA. <laughs> and then of course you have to specify the light. Then they ask you, which city? I was like, Miami. <laughs> 
But the most embarrassing moment was like when my parents went to Aljan's parents. <laughs> the slide was going to come out. But like I wished the floor would crack up and I would enter. <laughs> but then this subject was never opened somehow. So I was like, oh. But in my first year of the college, before I moved to Chanakkale, a friend of mine who knew I was born in Turkey and Aljan was sitting. And his friend was asking me, Perchin, how come your English is so good? And Aljan looked at me saying, tell me you're from the US. And, I was like, <laughs> and then hot water boiling over my head. And still, I did not confront Aljan on that actually. I should apologize to him on that. But, so I was saying all these lies like, to make myself feel good for a second, but then it got really uh, intertwined and really complicated, and it like really t exhausted me to create more lies on top of it and be even more creative. I'm sure it helped a lot with my creativity, for sure. <laughs> but I'm glad that I stopped doing this, because it was really shameful when these lies came out that made you feel good for one second, then shitty for the rest of your life. I attended a conference by Cem a famous comedian, once, and he said, like, when you start playing, you have to lie on top of that, and then on top of that, and on top of that, and then it becomes something that you really cannot handle. And when it blows, it really blows up on your face. So I'm glad that I had all these experiences when I was a teenager, because now I found out lying, even though it's harmless, is bad for your health. <laughs> Mental health, generally. But I still see some adults lying about things. But the bad thing, like when they lie, they actually bleed their lives. And that's the most dangerous thing. So liars are not on fire, guys. Lying is quite bad. Thank you very much. <laughs>